is up you guys it is Abby and today before I get started I know my hoodie is gonna hit off the back of my guitar quite a lot and I'm wearing my hoodie because I don't feel well and I want to work up my clothes so hoodie and beanie and yeah the beanie's back oh well but today I obviously have chess and I've been saying this for a while now but I'm finally posting the wonderful cover for hard times no, not cover, tutorial, I did the cover. Tutorial for Hard Times by Paramore. And if you guys don't know this, I have covered a song from every single like kind of time of Paramore. I have not done one from All We Know Is Falling. And the reason for that is Hayley Williams' voice is way higher than mine on that album. So I can't do it without it hurting yet, but um, I'm gonna do it. I swear to God, I cannot have an incomplete set. But, Anyway, let's get on to this tutorial. Okay, so the first thing you need is a capo. You will need a little capo on the third fret and it is in standard tuning, so should just sound like that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now, I did mine weirdly. Usually pe when people do like acoustic tutorials, they play the chords and they don't have plucking in it as well because the plucking is like literally meant for electric, but I like the way it sounded on my good old chest here. So I put it in. So I'm going to teach you guys the version I did. This is not 100% accurate to the song. This is just the one I did and I liked it. So yeah. So the first bit, you're going to need the plucking for the intro. The interludes kind of, yeah, the interludes and the verses. And it's the same plucking throughout. So when you got that down, you're set. It's so easy. So the first thing is you're going to go to where the seventh fret would be on, without the cable, without the cable. So if you take the cable off, go to the seventh fret and you still are on the same fret there with the capo on. It is the one, two, three, four, fifth fret because you go to the eighth fret. I just realized it's the eighth fret you're on, not the seventh. Why, why, hold on up. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your third finger, this little finger here, you're gonna put it on the third string. Should it sound like that? Easy. I am really warm and I'm not taking my hoodie off because it's comfy. And then you take your middle finger, the most useful finger, and you put it on the fourth string, the same fret. So they're both on the fifth fret with the capo on, the eighth fret without the capo on, because if you're playing it without the capo, that means you're doing the actual electric version. So the plucking's the same on every guitar. I hope this makes sense. It will be in the description box below for you guys to actually figure out what I mean, because I don't know what I mean. But anyway, you go, Four free, four free, and what I mean by that is you play the first one, then you move up two frets, and you and you play again. So, I'm gonna just do it in terms of the third fret, like the capo is the now the start point. So this is the fifth fret. So five seven, and then you go backwards. You play them backwards, and what I mean by that is you go, you play the third string first. So it's four three, four three, three four, three four. That is literally it for the verses, the intro, and literally most of the song. So it's really easy, super, super easy. And then after the verses, you get that da, da, da. And what for that, what that is, is it's an F, G, A minor. And I'm gonna show you how to play this card, so don't worry. So for the F, you take your first finger and you go to the first fret and you bar the first two strings. So it's gonna sound like that, really high pitched. And then you take your middle finger and you put it on the third, yeah, the third string, second fret. And then you take your third finger and you put it on the fifth string, third fret and you put your pinky finger on the fourth string third fret should sound like that this chord comes up in a lot of songs and it's the easier version of the at normal f so i would recommend learning this one if you don't know how to play it all learn this one before you learn the full-on bar chord because it is a pain so you go f g and what the g is is it's your fourth finger on the first string third fret your third finger on the second string third fret, your middle finger on the sixth string third fret, and your first finger is on the fifth string second fret, and easy. That's one of the basic chords, super easy. And then the A minor, 
which is probably the easiest card. No, no, that's a lie. E minor is the easiest card. This is the second easiest card. So what it is, is you take your third finger and you put it on the, the third string second fret, and then you put your middle finger on the fourth string second fret, and then you put your first finger on the second string first fret, and you, easy. And you need them for the interludes, and some of those chords come up later in the song, and two of those chords are in the chorus, so you got two of them chords there. Okay, we're, we're almost there, guys. Bear with me, I know I'm terrible at these. Don't know why I keep doing them. I don't know, I like doing them. So, the chorus, you go into a D minor, then an A minor, then a C, then F. I play the strumming pattern really, by the way, guys, this is just what worked for me. So, they're literally all the chords for the chorus, so, if you know how to play them, you're set. If you don't, I'm gonna show you. So don't worry, don't worry, I got you guys. So the D minor is you put your first finger on the first string, first fret. You put your middle finger on the third string, second fret. And you put your third finger on the second string, third fret, and you play this bottom four strings. Same with the D, except it's the D minor. And then the A minor, exact same as last time, you know, third finger, third string, Third finger, third string, second fret, middle finger, fourth string, second fret, and first finger, second string, first fret. And then C, you keep your middle and first finger where they are, and you move your third finger up to the fifth string, third fret. And you only play five strings for that, you don't play the top string. So if you can mute it, mute it, mute it, mute it with your thumb, that's great. If not, just try and avoid it, but it doesn't make a huge amount of difference. So, and then the F exact same as last time you just move your bottom finger down to bar the first and second string you keep you move your middle finger down to the third string second fret and you keep your third finger where it is and you just put your pinky right below it on the fourth string third fret and that's the chorus now the strumming pattern i use is i palm it and open when i play up so it's down, down. I just got this by playing along with the song. Again, everybody did different with this. Mine's is not the right strumming pattern. I know it's not. So if you want to play the exact strumming pattern, I would recommend trying to find that. I couldn't, I just winged it. So yeah, but it's just our series down, up, 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 down, up, up, down, down, up, 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 down, down, up. And I will put that down below for you guys because I realize it's not makes sense. And the chorus is the same. And then you go back into the verse, which is just the exam. The exact same, exact same, and then you back into the chorus, which is the exact same, and except obviously with all of the choruses you don't play anything that says and I gotta get to rock bottom ah, and then you go into the interlude, which is different. Okay, so for the interlude you need to know the C, exact same, and you play this really lightly. I didn't pan it, and then you go to an F, and you just play that constantly. That's how I did it anyway, and you just play it really softly and it's just down and up strums. And then it's back into the chorus, which is the exact same, D minor, A, C, F. Easy, except you play the chorus twice, as it is in the song, and there is an interlude bit in it, and you can play that if you want to. I added it in my cover because I wanted to, and for that I just played the chorus again, but with no singing. So, yeah. I will link my cover down below for you guys to play along with. I hope I made some kind of sense. I have not done a guitar tutorial in so long. Dear God, it has been a minute. So I'm a little bit rusty, so don't hate me if I don't make sense. Again, everything I have said will be in the description box below. Chess, you go down there, my baby. But yeah, peace out, folks. Stay happy, chocolate, be nice to everyone. Please do let me know if you guys found this useful or not if you guys have any other variations of the song because I think it's one of those songs everybody plays it kind of differently. Same with most songs actually, but this one in particular, especially on acoustics. So, yeah. But anyway, I will be seeing all of you guys super soon. I know my upload schedule last week was kind of erratic. So, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but this week it will be the same as always, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, unless something goes terribly wrong. <sighs> But yeah, bye guys.